Did you miss your deadline to renew your Medicaid coverage? You can still send your completed annual review form to Healthy Connections Medicaid. You may be assigned to another health plan, but you can ask to come back to First Choice within 60 days of renewed Medicaid eligibility. It's your family. It's your choice. First Choice is the right choice. Renew and choose us. Visit selecthealthofsc.com slash renew to learn more. Why? How did we get to this point? Like from time to time, I wonder if things are actually getting better, or in fact, are they getting a whole lot worse? And why did the narratives have to be this way? I just ask myself every day of it. And from time to time, society just makes me sick. Welcome to the J-Man Show here on K360 Radio. Did you miss your deadline to renew your Medicaid coverage? You can still send your completed annual review form to Healthy Connections Medicaid. You may be assigned to another health plan, but you can ask to come back to First Choice within 60 days of renewed Medicaid eligibility. It's your family. It's your choice. First Choice is the right choice. Renew and choose us. Visit selecthealthofsc.com slash renew to learn more. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Forward, prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Hello, J360 Legion, and welcome to the J-Man Show. And I'm your host, J-Man, of course. This is episode 168. I just, uh, seem kind of low-key opening this time. You know, because, like, as I am investigating and doing what I do best, every time I try to prepare this show for you every week, I always see, like, different things that go on. Whether it's the talk in town, whether it's this toxic election that seems to be a lot more toxic than 2016 was but you know 2016 had that special source of flair and it in that unbelievable moment whereas this is just one of those drawn out sequels where you sit there and you're like is it over yet is it over yet can't one of the people in this whole thing just just keel over so that we can move on to something new and then of course you know there's a lot of fear that's involved in it too Because for some reason, people are always so scared, but they use that fear to go ahead and do dumb stuff to, you know, extenuate it. And then from time to time, you wonder if you're ever going to get that justice. You wonder if you're ever going to get that equality and everything that ties together like a nice little bow on a present. And then I just shake my head. And I just know that I have to keep going through all this stuff if I'm going to succeed with any of my goals. If the move is going to happen, and it is going to happen, because I worked this hard to get to this point, and yeah, I'm going to follow through on it. Not afraid. But there are times where you just look around and you're like, does this society really need this right now? Do you think this society could really be useful at this point, or is it too far gone? Because I mean, like, people nowadays really don't care, like anything. They're over here putting on a false face and pretending they do, but. If anything, it doesn't measure up to the clicks that, say, somebody would get on their Facebook page or the clicks somebody would get on their OnlyFans page or, you know, above and beyond, like, anything. Like, when we utilize this new technology that's in front of us and then we go ahead and we throw a narrative, a thoughtless narrative out there from time to time and we wonder exactly who's going to respond to it because everybody is reactionary nowadays, including me sometimes. So I've gotten better with controlling it. Especially if you listen to each and every single thing on the, you know, the J-Man show's progression to now. I've gotten a lot better with things. But it's like, 
And, and you realize that the lies on it. Like all of these things that cannot be backed up. But we take opinion and make opinion fact. When at the same time, an opinion is only an opinion. And you just don't stop with that. But the problem with an opinion sometimes, the mob mentality that goes with it. Like the one thing that I saw on Facebook. Oh, men are hilarious. Or that whole minimalist meme or something like that where there was a chair and a small TV. And and then like the posting up top said, men think it's okay to live like this. And I always sit there and I'm like, as a man, I look at it from time to time and I'm like, what men do you know? Once again, you're not speaking for the population. What men do you know? exactly do all these things that you once again hold on a pedestal or you hold on a caliber and you just try to once again think that it's fact or that it happened to you and i look at it from all the time i'm not just talking to the women out there i'm talking to like the trans and all the other people that you know share this world with me like i look at it from time to time it's like not all these men that you know are dumb unless you love dumb men and you hang around with them all the time and you go ahead and you try to treat them like a science experiment rather than treat them like a person. And then it goes like where you got some toxic individuals that treat people just any sort of way they want to treat people. Once again, you need to stop hanging out with these people. First, identify them. And then when you realize that they're not going to get any better and you cannot change anybody, you're going to be better off because guess what? You're not dealing with those individuals anymore. But when you keep having them around and using them for your Facebook cred and all this other stupid stuff, you're going to realize that, you know what, yeah, they're a problem, but so are you. And that's when I went on that lady's Facebook page because I just couldn't allow this to just seep in. You know what I mean? At this point, I couldn't. And I was like, yeah, you clowns are hilarious too. Keep that in mind. One way or another, when there's a cause and effect, when somebody's out here acting really ridiculous and stuff like that, you got to realize one thing. Are we handling the problem from time to time? Which we usually aren't because we're over here trying to get as much exposure as we can. Because you know that cred though, right? And then you realize this person probably needs help or been around some of the most silliest a-holes on this side of the whole vicinity here. And are just lashing out. One way or another, you got to figure something's got to give. And then you start to wonder this. Why do people even think that that's the narrative for everybody? Like, all men are dumb. All women are great. Nothing toxic ever happens. Uh, yeah, because women don't do anything toxic to men, right? You know, you know what I mean? Or, or even better, like, you know, women don't stalk other women. Or, or women don't beat other women. Or all that other crazy stuff, you know? From time to time, you, you'll hear, like, it's always the man versus the woman these days. And... Dare I say it, but it's all about what you invest in. Like, mainstream media at one time used to be neutral. Why does mainstream media got to be in everybody's business? Or feel as though it's their right to be in everybody's business? Like, I ask that question a lot, too. And then it's all over something superficial. Like, every time on my news app, it used to be credible stories on there. But now it's always about, will you get this stimulus check? Won't you get this stimulus check? Or how you feel about how you are actually going to be qualified for a stimulus check if you get it? Damn, give me my money or don't. I don't care. I mean, one way or another, I, I'm going to be okay. Because I'm working hard on myself to make sure that I'm going to have my flow. I'm going to be okay. I'm not going to let that all this crazy stuff that goes on nowadays stop me. I'm not. And then after a while, you realize that most of this stuff started because of money. Because there's always that one person that's worried about that they don't have enough money for this. Or that they can't handle that. Or, of course, you know, Obamacare probably extenuated it. But even then, Obamacare was supposed to be out there to help everybody have a way to get health care. More on that later. But, of course, there was going to be some strings tied to it because other people, when it comes to issues that pertain to the um, legislature of things, you got to have the two-party system involved, which is funny as hell because the two-party system is so splintered and ridiculous you don't know exactly what party to be a part of. But what gets me is that you got other podcasters out there talking about, well, you know, we need the Republican. We need this. We need... No, no, damn it. What we need is a cleanse. We need all that stuff to be cleaned up. We need, like, all the people out there that are in, like, their, you know, mid to late 30s going into 40s that pretty much see what's going on. They need to have those offices. 
They need to have some time in there where, guess what? We can change the tide of things. Not necessarily these old folks. Have you ever really looked at your Congress people? These people should be in the retirement home. They should be just chilling somewhere, wherever. And then, of course, you know, you got them evil old people that are holding on to these things for dear life and using name recognition only just to stay involved in your life. You always wonder this, like, damn, you ain't dead yet or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you look at it from time to time, you're like, why are you doing all this? And then, of course, you know, when it gets right down to it, Trump's going to pick whoever Trump wants to pick for anything. Like, say, like, if one of those justices passes away, <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? It's going to be the same thing that happened <laughs> not too long ago. Who he sees fit. So one way or another, you see it like the scars of him are going to last for a long time. Whether we get him out of office or not. And everybody's trying to find as many amendments as possible. But once again, you also got the one party that will not hold him accountable. And you also got the other party that... Well, peed off a lot of people, I guess, about eight or so years ago. And, um, you know, not counting Trump's years, but it, it's a lot to it because of irrational fear. And then when you have a rational fear and you realize that, like, even for myself, I realize there are things that are out of my control, like whether somebody likes me or not, or whether somebody likes the J-Man show. Hell, some people probably like J360 Jams a lot more than the J-Man show. I ain't mad about it because I host both shows and I created them. And then not only that, you know, the mini bites. Some people like the mini bites a lot better than both of those shows that I just mentioned. It could be a whole different thing each and every time. And then some people probably like me one episode and then completely hate me the next episode. I can't control that. Or, once again, pertaining to the women I was talking about earlier. They're not dating me, so how the hell are they going to go ahead and try to put me in that vicinity? You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, wherever I show up and I try to have a decent conversation, you know, the decent conversation gets weird because some of these women think I want to get with them or they think that, you know, I'm trying to expose them, and I'm not. You know what I'm saying? As a producer, my job is to go and get to know as many different people as possible and reach out to them and help them along the way. You know, as a content creator myself, it's it's a partnership. You know, I'm supposed to have partnerships. I'm supposed to have associations. That's called building your circle. But one way or another, a lot of people will sit there and try to come up with prejudgments and all this lying. And, you know, one way or another, why don't we just kill off the lies? Why don't we just kill off all the BS and just have a communication? You know, just talk. That's what it was supposed to have been about. A long time ago, all that social media stuff that we take for granted, you know, that we use to either, A, show off this that we're doing or show off that, that what they're doing and all that, it used to be a way to simplify communication. At one time, each and every one of these companies out here strive to be different, to provide a different way to communicate. But then you take a look and you realize they ended up becoming the same because people utilize them for the same things. Or then people will go ahead and use them for the most selfish reasons on earth and then think that, you know, oh, well, somebody else just came along and decided to speak to you. But instead of speaking to you as a person, they're probably a fan or they probably want to pay to see how long the line for the crack of your ass is or, or go ahead and see how nice them tits are. At the end of the day, you know what? Like I said before, I've been around so much TNA and I've had many different relationships and um, interactions, if you will, it doesn't surprise me. I just do what I can. I work with what I have. I look and see like who wants to be a part of the group or not, who wants to be on the list of associates. Like At the end of the day, just because I'm being nice and just because I'm reaching out doesn't mean I want to get with you. That's already a prejudgment on me. That's assume right there. You know? Shoot. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. The character of J-Man is just, you know, you can't have a larger-than-life personality and not see that I don't reach out to you. But from time to time, you know, I'm not looking for certain things like that. And if I was, you know, you're not open to it. You're already closed off because of what some other schlub probably did to you or what somebody else is sitting there saying, and didn't follow up. I mean, once again, that's... That's pretty much ignorant on his part, but that's your dumbness for choosing that.
Because once again, you got comfortable and you wanted it. You picked that person. I can't necessarily take the slings and arrows for that person because it just ain't going to happen. I'm not taking nobody else's punishment. I'm sorry. You're just getting real ridiculous now with this. And then not only that, what? I'm supposed to feel bad because you can't find the right mate to be with? Out of here! How dystopia can you get? You know? And then after a while, you got to start questioning things. Like... A long time ago, we used to question stuff and we used to check our sources and make sure we knew what was going on before we ran around here trying to chime and say that it's fact because it can't be fact. You know, some things are really ridiculous to the point where they have no choice but to be true. I understand that. You just can't sit there and try to treat everybody the same when at the same time, you don't like being treated like you're the same, right? You don't like being treated like that. I mean, that's like me going after all the cosplayers I know and just saying, oh, you know, you, all y'all care about is just, just you, you know, sponging off your male fans. You don't care about anybody else trying to get where you need to be or helping out another content creator or just trying to, you know, I invest in you. How come you can't invest in me? This isn't right. You know, things like that. And that's not fair to them. I mean, I could do the same thing for like a lot of the female synthwave artists I know. Oh, you just care about your own looks. You don't care about any of my talents or anything like that. And I'm here reaching out to you. Oh, yeah, you think you're better than me, huh? You know what? After a while, I can learn Fruity Loops and actually be on top of the world and, and, and get back at you that way. That's petty. That's not the environment that I would want to make or any real man would want to make or anybody else out here that's trying to make their mark on the world. If anything, we're all different, yes, and we all have a way of interacting differently, yes, but at the same time, just because you have an interpretation and an idea of how somebody is, isn't always the answer, okay? Now, yes, you should have a way of calling the shots on how you should be treated, always. Never let anybody treat you lower than livestock. I mean it. Respect yourself, and then don't be afraid to be like this. Hey, you're not respecting me and my wishes. Especially when they get to the point where, you know, they try to use you. Never let anybody use you like that. You understand what I'm saying? And it's unfortunate because people use people. Like, you see it at your job all the time. You see it out there all over the corporate area. But at the same time, as soon as you speak up and you start saying, like, this isn't right. I will not tolerate this. This is, this is not the way it's going to be. This is not how the workplace relationship is going to go. Now they got a problem with you. You know, my day job is like that like my would-be manager and all the stuff that he tries to do and then like my would-be supervisor and all the crap that he come up with well you know uh, 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 uh. why don't you do some work that's what i ask him what's wrong with your hands and then i look over at my manager and i'm like you're not gonna throw all this work on me and you're not gonna talk to me like a dog out of my face one way or another like you couldn't handle a man like me Dare I say, today's woman couldn't handle a man like me sometimes. No, not at all. Because you know why? These easily controlled beta males out here, or these people that always have to be like, yes, yes, yeah, that's a good idea. Even though it might be the most stupidest idea in the world, and it might involve somebody getting hurt or doing something they're not interested in, they'll happily do that. That's the men you know. See, me... I don't know, I'm kind of uh, becoming a fossil. I'm kind of becoming an endangered species. I'm not a part of no stereotype. I'm not a part of any of these things you try to lump me into. I am who I am. You know? And I have a strong sense of self. But one way or another, I'm not saying that all women are bad, because they're not. And I'm not saying that all trans people scare me. They don't. Matter of fact, I'm a lot open to the LBGTQ. They've done nothing to me. And I look at him, and I'm like, you know what? You're so good at what you do, I'm going to hire you. Well, Jay, you know, me and my boyfriend are having troubles. and Well, see, if you're having troubles and stuff, and you need to really take care of it, you know, go ahead. But if you have problems, let me know. I'll do what I can to help you, even though I don't go to the same party you do. You understand what I'm saying? And when somebody has their opinion on certain things, once again, it doesn't hurt you. I don't know what kind of sheltered upbringing you had, but you're going to have to open up. You're going to have to take a red pill, or you're going to have to find a way to get off the grid like that sometimes 
and just be open to it and be like, you know what? It's okay. Whatever. I don't need that opinion to validate me. That's all it is to it. And you got more and more people out here nowadays falling apart on things. Like, pretty much listening to this episode, which it, whenever it'll be aired, you know, probably will turn off a few people. And I hope it doesn't, but at the same time, I don't have no control, once again, on how people will react to me. But do mind this. I'm pretty inclusive. I work with everybody. I give everybody their fair shake. But if you can't come to me as a friend, and if you can't look towards me as somebody that's going to help you, or even as a love interest, if you got a crush on me, I think the best thing you could do is tell me. Don't hold that stuff in. Like, once again, you need to just tell me these things. I mean, society itself doesn't want you to be who you are. Society wants you to be scared, wants you to break apart the most littlest thing, wants you to spend money on crap that you may or may not need. Most definitely not need, probably. Because you are scared. You're fragile, you're vulnerable, or they caught you in a moment of weakness and then you find yourself probably eating a lot, probably going through some depression. Quarantine does that to people, but at the same time, you can bounce back if you find yourself enough to do it. Like, I could lose my job tomorrow, and I will not cry over it. I will look at that, and I'll be like, you know what? Came here looking for a job, I'm going to leave looking for a job. I'm going to go ahead and have another job lined up. I'll be going into J360 full-time anyway. And the truth is, is that, you know what? It's going to happen, because I believe in myself enough to do so. Dystopian, yes, but at the same time, you can fight a dystopian environment. You can fight a toxic environment, but you got to have the strength and you got to have the guts. And most importantly, you got to know yourself. And then from time to time, Facebook doesn't talk for me. Twitter doesn't talk for me. Yeah, Google doesn't have a social media anymore. But at one time, nah, Plus didn't say nothing for me either. And the same thing could be for like any way that they grow. And once again, they know they got us by the pocket on things. And they know we're customers because they keep sponging off of all of our information and utilizing it that way. This information age at one time was open. You could have an opinion. You could have a discussion. You could speak on this thing. And yeah, there were a lot of a-holes floating about, but you carried on. You had to. And then when you know that things get a little too much, it just doesn't hurt to turn it off. You understand what I'm saying? Like when you stop going to like like let me just tell you, say this: the average simp goes on OnlyFans every day. The average simp probably goes ahead and looks at you know uh, hopes that certain people will hit them back. Certain content creators will actually fall in love with them and all that stuff. The average simp will probably be like um, complaining about a lot of things, or they see that they're. Uh, icon is in trouble and then they'll go ahead and white knight and then the icon will give a couple of pets to him and then that's it that's about the most interaction that person's ever going to get and god knows why that is because hey a lot of content creators especially if they're knee deep in their career they're still building they don't know how to interact with just about everybody and then you got to realize this how many messages they probably get on the daily and then they might have to have like an agency look over the messages and all this other stuff you don't really know but at the same time don't beat yourself up about it. Like, there, take this one that I know. She's a nice streamer and everything. But, like, once again, you, you know, she's cute and all. But I'm not going to go ahead and just be like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I got a chance. I got a chance. No. Not at all. And not only that, the way she went about telling all of her uh, simps off that day, I thought it was pretty funny. Because she said this. She's like, it's Instagram. It's not Tinder. It's not blah, blah, blah. It's not Bumble. And I'm like, no. Nah. But when she named off all those sites and then she said that she's just having a good time and she's on there just shaking her booty and all that stuff for a lot of the people to gawk at, you can't hate her for that. She's telling it like it is. I was looking at that. I was like, dang, level the play field. Go ahead now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you cannot hold against somebody who's speaking the point. Just like when I did Mini Bites 54. Mini Bites 54 broke a lot of things, man. But if anything, it brought a lot to light because all those fake would-be people that, you know, spawn retweet and all that stuff, they're gone. They ain't there no more. Matter of fact, you know, certain content creators that were seemingly friendly, they probably said, oh, I, I can't be around J-Man no more. And you know what? Once again, good. I'm not going to lose sleep at night if you leave. I just won't. 
Because you know why? Because there are things that I stand for, and there's things I don't stand for. Like, when you send me OnlyFans links, and I never engaged you at all, no. No, no. Out of my sight. If you send me something that pertains to you, but you're not going to push my company to, oh, you gotta go. Because I work really hard along with the rest of the people in this group, and we are doing what we can to make our reach, and we're in the second smallest state in the union, people. I mean, damn. Like, you know, kindly help out a little bit. That's all I ask. But if I come to you, and I speak to you on the level as a person, you should have the respect to speak to me back as a person. And not throw your weight around. And not expect that, oh, you know, that somebody wants to do all that kind of stuff. It's not true. Now, if there's a mutual interest, it might be there. But the thing is, it's like, once again, these are things that dictate over time and everybody's got this instant gratification and stuff. You think love works that way, right? Oh, prepare to get hurt because guess what? It doesn't. Love does not work like that at all. And you're only asking for problems and heartaches. And then, who knows? Maybe you'll probably be confident enough to write and release a song about it. But at the same time, no. Stop doing that. Let things take their time. You never know how you feel when you meet somebody. You never know how you feel when stuff happens and there's growth there. And then hope that you can make it through these dystopian times. Because everybody needs somebody, man. Everybody does. Loneliness can be a real pain in the ass. And I'm not talking about, like, when you don't talk to your mom one day. Or when you don't talk to your siblings. Or, you know, your social group. Y'all ain't out there having uh, Jaeger bombs and all that stuff. Or, you know, going to some sort of fancy restaurant that you know you can't afford. But it's going to be on your credit card bill by the end of the month. Because that's just how it works. I'm talking about little things like that. Like when you're really, really lonely. And there are a lot of people out here that are painfully lonely. Even more so since COVID. Think about it. So if they don't know how to interact with people, that's because they've been out of the game for a while. They don't know exactly what the social cues are. Hell, I've been out here being sociable with a lot of y'all for a long time. And needless to say... I'm not an expert at this crap either because they keep changing the rules every damn minute. Not day, minute. You could be like, hi, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to engage with hi. I, I want something real to talk about. Lady, I don't know you. Or sir, I don't know you. Like, what are you into? Are you into gun control or weed? I don't know. You know, little things like that. Do, would you like to go out and actually shoot a duck with an assault rifle? Or would you like to go ahead and uh, feed a bear at a nature preserve? Something like that, you know? You don't know what somebody's into. Oh, hey, you want to go get some comics? Would you like to listen to a podcast, maybe? Because there's some people out there that are not interested in podcasts. I mean, the thing is, and heaven forbid, I try not to meet those people. But it's true. Would you like to watch TikTok? Oh, I've seen you on TikTok. You ain't funny at all. Amen. See, things like that. When it gets to the point sometimes, man, I just wonder where we as a people go because there are times where I'm just really, really questionable about it and I shake my head, but I know that we can bounce back from this if we allow ourselves. It probably won't be with the election. It probably won't... (laughs) You know what? It definitely won't be with the election. There's something wrong. But I will say this much. I hope that we get back on track soon. And I hope that as I speak my point on this, dystopian ways, they they can be changed and fixed, but it's going to take a lot of movement and a spark to do so. And I just wish a lot of people would actually take the time to go ahead and try. You know what I mean? But not just the the whole, oh, well, I I said I was going to do it and then don't do it. I mean, like, apply. Apply the motion. And that's all I ask. Like, it takes a lot for me to actually do an episode like this. But I'm going to do it anyway, because I know I'm not going anywhere. And I'll get more followers. I'll get more people that like me for me. I'll get more people that want to work with me. And hopefully that there is a stronger relationship there than ever. And then maybe we can kill those prejudgments, because prejudgments ain't doing any of us a favor. It's tiresome. It don't make no sense at all. 
And you know this, don't you? But hey, that's just something for you to figure out because it's time for me to bounce. And um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I got to get some stuff ready for the Monster Fest because we got a lot of things happening this year. Matter of fact, I think I might take it and make it company wide. But I've already said too much. This is J Man signing off. Peace to you. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.